guys. Welcome back to another episode of Ruin Adventures. Here we are. The, the rig is here. And on most of you know, we've got new suspension, lift kit, and everything like that. So we're going to be showing you the entire car of uh, what we've done to it, and what we'd like to do more with it. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to run through everything that we've done to the car, everything that we uh, haven't done to the car, what's in the future for this car. rundown of what we've done to our Colorado. Right, so I start from the front and work our way to the back. Now, this one, full bar, is an x rocks We've only had it for six months, five months max. Absolutely love it. Still haven't decorated anything on the front yet other than the uh, Union Aerial for my um, Oricom box inside, which we'll get to shortly. Yeah, we haven't really decorated. We've got the winch to go in yet couple of little brackets inside the uh, ball bar which we might put a few little uh, square spotlights but we don't really need to decorate it that much because we've got all the um, bells and whistles up the top there which is right enough if you ask me other than that nothing's really else to the front the Xbox we got from uh, PPD in Perth I've searched all over Perth, Mandra, Bunbury, Busso to get a, um, a bull bar and most of them are very very chunky. Chunky I mean like in this area here it's just one big plastic tub. Um, I didn't like that. I wanted something very um, like steel, strong and not so bulky. This is only a couple bars. All right we're in the engine bay. Now this has not been touched. Other than a new battery, nothing in this, I've had it for five years, this car, and we have not touched anything in this motor. So uh, touch wood, it stays that way. It's a 2.8 litre uh, diesel. Yeah, look, it gets us A to B. It does a lot of off-roading, as you can tell, it's very dirty. We, have, we don't clean it as often as we should. But um, so far, it's been very, very good. Um, now and again, we get like a little rattly sound, but the mechanics that we've got uh, diagnose it pretty quick and um, get it sorted straight away. A few belts we had to replace, but in engine-wise, turbo-wise, radiator-wise, it's all been pretty good. And um, yeah, touch wood, stays that way. Um, Again, we've just ticked over 280,000 kilometers in this thing. When I first got it, it was 126,000. So, I've done a fair few Ks on it in the five years. It is a 2014 model, Colorado. And um, yeah, it's done us wonders. It gets us um, off grid wherever I drive it, really. And um, yeah, it's been sensational. So, can't fault it yet, but I hope it stays that way. Alrighty, oh, it's a bit hard with that sun, um, but this is the uh, better angle. As you can see, we've got the XTM big light bar. We've had that on there since we've got this car. That is our first um, little mod to the car. Is that light bar, uh, and it's been great ever since. Plenty of beam, and um, now when we brought the rooftop tent, it come with the four light fox spotlights. They haven't been used yet. Um, I brought it off um, Braden, and um, they're only six months old, probably, actually probably 10 months old now, and they have never been wired up. So I'm keen to get them wired up, ready for winter, so we can uh, get a bit more um, distance down the road in the early mornings to work, and um, late night trips heading up north. But yeah. We can't wait to get them, get them um, wired up, and uh, see how see how good they are. Rightio, now rooftop tent. 
has been a game changer. We've been in swags for a long time now and we finally went out and brought a rooftop tent. Again, off um, Braden from uh, 4x4CAA and I wouldn't look back. We are planning on building a camper trailer um, in a couple of years time and I want a fully off grid system and again, I'm putting one of these on the camper trailer. They have been bloody awesome. You don't have to worry about putting a swag and a stretcher in the back. Saves room in the back of the canopy and you can, the bedding's in there. You just fold it down, the bedding's in there. You just gotta take the pillow out. Absolute sensational. But it does come with a bit of concern while driving and full driving is if you are top heavy. You don't want to get too carried away in there on your car. And again, please check your dynamic weight and your static weight when you purchase this rooftop tent because you do not want to go over and the roof collapses. It is a rugged rooftop. They are retailed around about 28. So if you guys are interested, please hit them up. I'll uh, put the uh, link and information in the description below. Again, it's got light bars inside. It's got pockets inside. It has a lot of features inside and um, very comfortable. Um, very strong wind resistant. That thing's been in some strong winds, up to 70 k's an hour. And um, it gave a little shake, but bloody awesome. Also is waterproof. That is 100% waterproof. We've been in the wet, uh, rain one night in the Welly Dam, and that thing was getting drenched. I was in my swag with my oldest one and the missus and the youngest one were up there, and that thing was barking down and no water was inside. So again, I can vow that that's waterproof as well. You get a ladder with it. Again, the only bad thought is that you can't open this door with the headset. Uh, we just pick it up, move it to the side. It takes seconds. Right, the next thing attached to our rooftop tent is the Sanhima um, shower tent, toilet tent, change tent, whatever you use it for. We use it for um, change tent for the kids. Um, but we will be getting a water system to have a shower, especially when we go off grid for more than a few days. You like to have a shower, just a refreshing up. Uh, if you're by the river or dam or beach, you just have a shower in there. Well, I do. But um, yeah, beautiful little uh, shower tent. And um, it comes out, drops your blinds down, put a zipper to zip it back up. And um, yeah, you have only got it out once, still brand new and it's just attached to the side of the uh, rooftop around the other side we have a two by two by five by three meter awning at the moment it is currently broken the tents in here have uh snapped last time we went out camping it uh, went front over the roof and uh bent the connection so i have got new ones i just haven't been able to fix it yet but it'll be fixed very shortly we are wanting to get a new one, a bigger one, wider, probably a 180 degree awning for this whole shade bit is undercover. But uh, yeah, great little awning. It can be dragged out, put away with one person. Um, and yeah, we use it all the time. We do have side walls, which I'll tuck in now, uh, but we've used plenty of times for camping trips, beach trips. It's fantastic. You just buy them from uh, BCF, Kings, any kind of that. Just buy some tent pegs as well, and uh, it works like a treat. All right, we've jumped inside now, and um, there's not much that's different in here. We do have uh, the Kings Premium uh, seats covers, and they uh, they've been there for probably nearly two years now. They still look brand new and um, very comfortable, very durable. Um, we've had plenty of stuff spilt on them and uh, not one stain, so. Great little product there. We've got the um, Oricom attached to the window. I know I should have it down there, but um, this one came with the uh, window sticker, sticky thing. 
So we just attached it there. A lot of the cops think it's a bloody uh, cop reader, cop detector, but it's not. And that just clips onto the uh, light there. It just slides off, slides back on. Great little, easy to get to as well while driving. Got all our patches on the roof, guys. So thanks for the support um, that you guys have given us. And uh, we're always looking for more patches. All right. So back of the canopy, power-wise, we have the uh, King's control box. Absolutely love it. We've had no dramas with it. And the cord goes from underneath this uh, board that I made and goes up um, to the solar panel, which is a 170 watt um, hardcore solar panel, which pumps all this power into the fridge, into the lights that we use for camping, into the lights we use for camping. Now this battery is a 130 AH um, deep recycle battery. We've gone through some batteries in, in the time. This is our third battery and our third solar panel so fingers crossed it's what lasts lasts a bit more than normal but as a uh, we've gone away from the king's battery this is the uh battery from battery world in bunbury all right for the people that know on uh socials on what we've got underneath the car what we've just got in stay tuned because it's not far away righty hey so we're back into the uh, canopy now, and as you saw, we've got a 75 litre XGM fridge. It's massive, it's probably too big. It is a dual fridge and freezer, um, but they're basically both on free, uh, fridge at the moment. When we go camping for long distances, if I don't have a spare little freezer, I will change one of them to a freezer um, just to freeze our food. But, battery sits in here, the fridge runs off the battery and the rest of it runs off the control panel in there. We do have the King's Titan drawers, absolutely love them. Mind the mess in there. That is our food department and all the pots and pans. In this one is our, um, again, pots, uh, the two burner in there, tongs, utensils, all that kind of stuff in there. Right at the back is a few bags of um, jumper leads and that kind of stuff. We do have a little department here, which is all our recovery, um, your recovery gear, our jacks and all that kind of stuff. It's easy to get to if anything does happen. Unbox and install video on this and a review. Um, so if you guys want to check them out, again, I'll put them in the link. Um, I'll put the link in the description below guys to check them out but this is wearing down a little bit um, where the fridge is it's that heavy it's just wearing the carpet out it's getting very thin and uh, close to the, the uh, floor but we absolutely love it guys it's done our storage wonders and it saves having plastic containers plastic tubs bags scattered through your canopy you just jump jump in there it's out of the way more room again no swags, no tubs, equals more room, especially when you've got kids. We've also got these lights. When we're at night time or camping or picking up the boat in the dark, I have made a little switch here and they turn on and um, they are very handy and they're on a swivel plate. So we can just move them in when we need to. So, we have got the full two inch lift kit 
and leaf and suspension from West Coast Suspension. We have gone the full kit. Um, our old suspension we did not touch for, well, since we've had the car. So, and they were very, very sad face. That close that it was just very, very close to snapping. So we had to buy the bullet and we had to buy the full kit. I do a lot of towing. I have a trailer for work and obviously boat and um, we're going to get in a camper trailer. So we're going to do a lot of towing in the future. A lot more leaf springs than we had before. And um, when you're hitting the bumps on the road, you can definitely feel the difference. All right. Lastly is the tyres. Now these are the Maxxis Razors. They are so good. There's the Maxxis Razors. We've done so many off-road, rocky training. Um, we've even driven on real sharp rocks up north and uh, hasn't done anything flat tyres wise or anything like that. So highly recommend them. These are the LT255 um, tyres. I would like to get bigger tyres now after we have done the lift kit and suspension. They look a little bit small, but in the future, we'll get some bigger ones. Alright guys, that's it for this uh, rig rundown. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please chuck in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and let's see you out the next adventure. Cheers guys.